everybody. Trish here from Pinky's Farm and this is Friday Sews. Um, today I am wearing a 12 of McCall's 7948 and I was practicing this dress because I have some Liberty of London fabric that I was gifted for Christmas from my mom and I really want to make a beautiful tiered dress with it. So I thought I would just try this dress out and see how it turned out and make a wearable twall. I did UC, which is sleeveless with two tiers. And I actually switched the two tiers because I wanted this ombre fabric, I wanted the darker section in my middle. Um, and I'm not at all happy with how this turned out. This bodice is just too long, it's too wide. The dress itself is super wide. Um, and I put some ties on it to try and cinch up some of the massive amount of fabric in the back. But there's just a lot going on with this dress. I don't know. I think if I saw it on a young person, I might think it's cute. But for me, I feel very matronly in it. I don't know. It's just part of it is just that it's too big. These are too big. And this neck is trying to slit my throat. I mean, it is just so close. And I scooped it out a little bit. So um, I think I'm gonna have to change the neckline completely from the pattern. Maybe go with a little V-neckline or something. Uh, I think these need to be shortened and the whole thing moved in a little bit just so that it fits me better because these sleeves are gaping. It's just a hot mess right now. But this was a fabric roll from Walmart. I think I paid either four or six dollars, maximum eight dollars for the whole roll. And I really like the ombre effect. And I will fix this, I will fix this dress. You can see it's all crunched up up here because there's a lining in there. There's a cotton lining and it's just getting squished up. I haven't sewn that down yet. So that's what I've been working on ever since Jen left. Um, I'm sure that if you go to Jen from Today in Jen's Sewing Room and look at her vlog, I think she's gonna do a vlog on her visit here to the farm. Oh, this is making me crazy. Um, she'll, I think she's gonna be doing that this week. And um, we just had a wonderful time. You can look at my last video if you wanna hear kind of a rundown of everything that we did, but we had a great time together. And she got me so inspired to sew because she had on the cutest outfit. It was a little Laura Ashley romper, so cute. I hope she shows that to you guys this week. And um, so this is what I have done since then. Nothing else. Um, as far as what I've got planned for this following week, well, hopefully for this weekend, I want to make New Look 6866. And I want to do this version of the top, but I want to make it midi length. So maybe more like this length. And I thought that would just be a cute little summer dress. I was going to make it with this. Then I got to thinking, oh my gosh, there's a center front and center back seam in that thing. And I would have to match all these teeny little stripes up. Uh-uh, not happening. So I'm just gonna go for the polka dots and flowers. This is a soft cotton, not a cotton jersey, poly rayon jersey or something. I don't know. But anyway, it's really buttery soft. Maybe it's double brush poly. And so I think this would be good because I really don't care if the little dots don't match up perfect or the flowers. I think it'll all just kind of mix in. So I'm going to work on that. And that is really all that I have going on right now. We just had a gully washer here, tornado watch. And I had gone to Bell's to the store to try on bras and I got stuck in that store because it was a tornado watch outside. And so I ended up staying in that store. I was there for almost three hours while I waited for these storms to pass. And so I did a little shopping and um, just got me some summer stuff and uh, some stuff to wear as a bathing suit. I don't wear a normal bathing suit. I wear like boating attire and fishing attire for a bathing suit. It's usually shorts or a little skirt with usually a long sleeve, you know, SPF 50 shirt. 
because I get freckles, y'all. I get the skin cancer. So I have to cover myself really good. I cannot look at this dress anymore, y'all. I'm sorry. I'm going to have to end this video because I can't stand myself anymore. I hate this dress. I'm, I think now it's just going to turn into a giant alteration project. So I'm just going to alter the bejesus out of it and hope for the best. And before I cut my really good fabric, I'm going to try out a couple different patterns. So I'll keep you in the loop on that. I hope y'all are having a great weekend and um, I will see you next week.